We met at the Burnt Creek Club almost six years ago in October. Um, but we almost didn't that night though at the same time because uh, I had some buddies from out of town and it was a stormy night in the middle of the winter. And they come on guys, let, let's do something. They're calling around and I was like, you know what, I'm at home already, I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out, so. And it was my little yeah. sister's birthday and I was supposed to be in Beulah and the storm kept me in Bismarck. So then we decided to go out that night since we didn't really have much to do and it was stormy and. So I decided, okay, they talked to me, what the heck, I'll go for a couple, whatever. And we pulled up our table to their table. Like nice lifted job. the yeah, table up and walked the, the table themselves. across the bar and set it down next to us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I saw her, she caught my right away. So, yeah. And then he bought me this awful shot for a birthday shot because my birthday had been earlier um, in the week and <laughs> so right away I'm like, light. this yeah. guy is cute and attractive and I loved his hat. He was wearing a white suit hat and I'll never forget that. And he caught my eye out of the group but then he's like, I couldn't hear his name and buys me this awful shot and I'm like, okay, well, we'll see what happens here. And Your friend said you like a snake bite so I bought you a snake bite. She was lying yeah. though. <laughs> Just gotta wait for my chance to have a one-on-one -on -one with her and it came later that night finally after we had some uh, food over at Denny's. And... I dumped a burger in a guy's lap at Denny's while I was cutting it and it just went whoop into his lap and I picked it up and I ate it. <laughs> I can't sleep through the night, I got you on my I had gotten the ring probably, no joke, five months before I decided to actually propose. I was waiting for that right time, right time, and yeah, there's some family coming around, so I was like, okay, this will be just, just perfect with time and everything, so I chose early July. Um, so I was like, hey, let's go for a date. Let's have a date night. It's been a while, so yeah, yeah, sounds good. So anyway, she's upstairs getting ready, and uh, I decided, okay, I'm gonna have the dog be part of this, you know, with the tag. And uh, so I set up my camera in the corner of the kitchen. So I get the right angle and everything and it worked. Marked it with a pencil even. Yeah. So, but she was taking so freaking long and I was like, I was getting anxious of course. And I was, and the dog's running off into the living room and I'm trying to get him back and trying to answer her questions in there. And so I walked out into the kitchen and I said, okay, I'm finally ready. And he was like, what? I said, I'm finally ready. And then he um, said, you should check out the new tag we got. I got Tucker. Well, he's our baby. We spoil him all the time. So I didn't think anything of that. And I bent down and I lift this tag up off of his car, collar and it's rose gold. And I love rose gold. Yep. And it uh, said, will you marry my daddy? And I turned and he was on one knee and he asked me to marry him in our kitchen. Turned out awesome. <laughs> I had no idea and I turned away from him right away. <laughs> I can't say 